we are in Siam Rep, Cambodia, uh, home of uh, millions of temples everywhere. And um, it's going to be interesting because there's a lot of temple ruins. And then we're just going to walk around while we are testing this brand new camera. So we see the photos, the footages and all in this video. Have fun. Hi, my name is John. We've got a chance to play around with the Samsung NX1 mirrorless camera. Let's have a first look to what the Samsung NX1 is all about. Let's start with the build of the camera. It's made out of magnesium alloy and it feels absolutely fitting in my hands. It's mirrorless camera, hence it is expected to be smaller than a full frame SLR. The build is sturdy and tough and it's weatherproof. It feels like this camera is made to really rough out in the real world. As I was saying, the lenses and the build of the camera, the size of it, I just swapped to the 45mm, uh, which is almost 50 plus each millimeter equivalent on the full frame uh, sensor. And look at the size of the lens. It's pretty small, so it's really, really good package to actually travel. Handy. Now this camera comes with 29 megapixel and that means it is freaking huge just like the Bayon temple right behind me it simply means that it packs a lot of details into the picture that is being taken and that's a good thing uh, I guess we just need to buy a lot more memory cards and put into these guys let me correct myself there I meant to say 28 megapixel and not 29 megapixel I got a little carried away now, 28 megapixel means that the photograph would have incredible amount of details. Now, this photograph of Angkor Wat taken from above with the 50 to 150 OIS lens. This is at the full crop. I could easily zoom into the photograph and we can actually see tourists walking around the temple. Let's test the face detection on this camera. Yeah, oops, not bad. <laughs> so it's 100% hit. <laughs> That's cool. The NX1 excels in autofocus. It feels fast, responsive, and accurate. Its cross type sensor points make focusing a breeze, especially in ideal situations like this. Although the AF does hunt a little bit more harder in low light conditions. I'm swapping to. My 16 millimeter. Well, it's a prime lens. Pretty small, wide enough for me to get a nice reflection shot over there. That this small little swivel on this one. I mean, it's been a while. A lot of cameras has this, but having this is actually quite nice. The APS-C sensor performs incredibly well with really good dynamic range. We managed to recover plenty of details in the highlights and the shadows in Lightroom. We arrived pretty early in the morning for the sunrise. The NX1 on the tripod were photographing interval shots which came built in with the camera. Overall, navigating around the menu is easy. I like how the layout of the buttons and the menu and how the multi-touch screen complements navigating around the camera. I like the customizable wheel. Now, if only the camera provides a dedicated AF point selector, that would be perfect. But that's just me. We took the camera to a local Cambodian circus to give NX1 a spin with a low light photography. 
we weren't allowed to use the flash, and I thought it wouldn't be nice to have the AF beam keep on firing. The camera performed decent, with autofocus having to work a little harder to get a shot. I didn't really compare the noise to ISO ratio, but I've been hearing reviews that it's performing well, so I'm just gonna leave it with that. Samsung really came out and played with the NX1. There are so many bells and whistles worth mentioning about. The Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth pairing with the smartphones, the Super AMOLED touchscreen, touch focus, the no lag OLED EVF viewfinder. Well, the incredible 15 frames per second, you wanna hear it? Here it goes. That's crazy. Overall, the camera feels solid, feels good in the hands and responds well. Be it the touchscreen, the viewfinder, to clicking the shutter, it does what it was made for. It's fast and it's fun when it's fast. Image quality is great, it really feels that mirrorless camera is finally here. I didn't mention that the NX1 is capable of recording up to 4K video with the H.265 codec. As the adaption rate increases, editing the H.265 codec will be way easier in the near future. If I'm traveling, I'm bringing this camera. Hope you guys like the NX1 review and if you like the video please let us know right into the comments and all so let me know